Hey all, Chris Smith from Clean and Clean Wizard File Coast. So I thought I'd do a quick video today in response to um, a question about static water system, you know, why we have it and uh, the general setup that we have. So uh, I hope you find it useful and uh, yeah, let's get, let's get this show on the road. Okay then, so you can see here then, so you've got the petrol pump uh, type attachment there held on by a Jubilee clip there. Uh, the pipe itself, we've got the measurements written down here. Okay, Triflex 2000, 25mm, 10 bar water, uh, water pipe, okay. Uh, so it's important to note, obviously, that if you're using hot water in your tank, in the storage tank um, held indoors, that you it doesn't exceed 20 degrees, uh, it will melt the pipe. You, you, if you do heat the water, it's not a problem, you're just going to need something a bit more robust than what I have. Um, we heat um, our water in the van, um, so there's no real need for us to uh, have uh, a more sort of um, bulletproof sort of water pipe, if you like. Okay, so we're just going to walk you through, follow the donkey schlong, back to the tank. Okay, so your donkey schlong from the vehicle runs all the way back to the tank. Okay, so the tank itself is a um, thousand litres. Okay, so it will hold a tonne's worth of water, which is more than what I need. Um, it's topped up by the um, mains water, so a little tap there, um, and the electrical pump which you can hear buzzing in the background is running off the mains which is the which is plugged up there and that's this black cable here okay so I'm just going to follow that black cable okay and try not to drop my camera into the uh, to water tank and so inside there that blue thing at the bottom so your submersible water pump is whirring around and it's rotating um, a rapid rate of knots, dragging water from the, the tank system down the donkey schlong uh, out into the van. Um, and the so if you notice over here, um, it's quite important this as well. So I've got the elbow joint there. You see that? Sorry there. I've got the elbow joint there, um, and that's to stop the pipe from folding up on itself. I found that when I first got it. Um, the pipe was keep, kept on bending over on itself um, and so the water pressure was was dropping and it wouldn't transport anything into the tank just going to make sure I've not flooded my van okay that's gone off yeah. so yeah the water system itself I bought this one from Pure Freedom and uh, basically it's it was 1085 pounds um, I'll leave a link in the description um, but basically that uh, is a is a, is a standalone system um, it's everything you need Ooh, there we go uh, that's everything you need to purify water um, for use in window cleaning to be honest with you um, you can buy them separate parts so the I'll show you there so everything you see that's blue on that frame there, you can purchase that, um, which is just the filters. So you can purchase that from Pure Freedom for about 400 quid. The IBC tank um, is, um, you can pick one of those up for about 47 quid if you go to an industrial estate. Um, well, it's quite luckily, there's an industrial estate around the back of, of my house. Um, it's 47 quid. Uh, it will need a bit of a spray and a bit of a clean. But uh, yeah, it's perfect for what you need it for. Uh, to try and keep costs down, you can try and do it that way. Or if you, it's like me, you just want to pay your money, have it delivered, have it gar have everything guaranteed. Um, so if it breaks, you can get it fixed for now. Um, you know, if you're running a business and all this sort of stuff, then you, you don't want to be chasing around after little bits and bats um, as little as possible. So, but that's my uh, that's that's the kit that we use to be honest with you. So. Hope you found that useful and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care now.